Across the history of flight, numerous aircraft have disappeared without leaving any clues. This has left many mysteries unsolved and has piqued our curiosity about the unexplained. Typically, these vanishings are attributable to factors such as adverse weather conditions, mechanical failures, or simple mistakes made by people. However, occasionally, there are disappearances that suggest there might be other forces at play. And that's where the Santiago Flight 513 comes in. Let's paint the picture for this extraordinary journey. Imagine a typical airline flight, quite standard. It's filled to capacity with 88 individuals, including passengers and crew. Each person is en route to their unique escapades. We've got holiday goers, people flying for work, you name it. They were simply living their lives, completely oblivious to the wild experience that was on the horizon. They had no clue that they were on the cusp of encountering something wildly bizarre. On the 4th of September, 1954, it appeared to be a typical day. Yet, that was about to change. Flight 513 from Santiago, departing from Aachen in Germany, was preparing for its standard flight to Santiago, Chile. The aircraft was filled with 88 individuals, crew and passengers alike, all set to ascend into the heavens and arrive at their endpoint. Unbeknownst to them, they were on the verge of entering an astonishing enigma. Suddenly, and without a single forewarning, the Brazilian aviation officials reported that Santiago Flight 513 departed from Germany on the 4th of September, 1954, and disappeared over the Atlantic. The airplane disappeared from radar detection abruptly. It was as though it evaporated into thin air. Communication links were completely severed. It seemed as though the aircraft, along with all its passengers, had been consumed by an inexplicable void. Aviation specialists were perplexed, attempting to unravel the mystery of its fate. They conducted an extensive search, eager to uncover any sign of the vanished plane. Yet, it was akin to searching for a minuscule needle in an immense haystack. There were no signals of distress, not a single clue, absolutely nothing. It completely perplexed the mind. This was not a typical case of an aviation mishap. The complete absence of rational explanations, along with no physical evidence whatsoever, only intensified the enigma. Skip forward to 35 years later, on the 12th of October, 1989, and there's a surprising turn of events. The air traffic control tower at Porto Alegre Airport in Brazil was just going about its usual routine. Then suddenly, they noticed something odd on their radar displays. An unknown aircraft appeared from nowhere, completely unexpected. Picture the astonishment and skepticism. It's as if Santiago Flight 513 chose to return from the forgotten chapters of aerial lore. The entire airport was bursting with activity. The staff were perched anxiously, pulses quickening as they attempted to comprehend the mysterious circumstances. Could this be a spectral airliner or a craft that traversed through time? It was a complete enigma. However, one fact remained certain. The myth of Santiago Flight 513 had once again captured everyone's attention, and the enigma was anything but solved. As the security personnel at the airport leapt into motion, the atmosphere was charged with a mix of apprehension and thrill. The officials reported that there was a complete lack of communication with the vanished aircraft from the control tower. It seems that the plane circled the vicinity of the airport before it eventually landed to allow for an inspection. When they opened the aircraft's doors, the ground crew and security personnel were utterly astonished to find that there were 92 skeletal remains, which included the 88 travelers and four staff members, all still strapped into their seats. An even more bizarre sight was the skeletal remains of Captain Miguel Victor Curry, still seated upright and seemingly gripping the controls. Observers also remarked that the aircraft's engine was faintly running. Authorities have remained silent on the sudden return of the vanished Flight 513. The mystery of the aircraft's whereabouts over the past 35 years remained unsolved. Authorities declined to provide statements regarding the unexpected return of the vanished Flight 513. They remained uncertain about the aircraft's whereabouts during the past 35 years. Paranormal investigator Dr. Ciatello expressed his belief that the plane undoubtedly passed through a temporal distortion, as no alternative theories presented themselves. However, he appeared to lack any rationale for the manner in which the pilot's skeletal remains were able to execute a secure landing. It seems that Santiago Airlines ceased operations back in 1956, 
and the surviving company officials had little to say regarding the flight in question. Even though government operatives carried out a thorough probe into the incident, they remained tight-lipped about the aircraft and the directions their inquiry took. They declined to talk about the aircraft or their investigative trails. They equally declined to remark on Dr. Atello's assertion that the plane went through a time distortion, and the authorities have yet to provide a specific explanation. Consequently, it's widely suspected that government representatives have silenced this matter. They've obliterated all proof that time distortion is a reality, and they wish to avoid causing public alarm. The peculiar tale initially surfaced in the Weekly World News tabloid, detailed in their issue from November 14, 1989. It featured a report by journalist Irwin Fisher, who verified the uncertain specifics of the occurrence. However, definitive proof of the incident is lacking. Do you think there's a possibility this story might have happened? Or is it all just a hoax or a myth? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and keep viewing by selecting one of the on-screen cards. Catch you in the following video.